Hi everyone. Let's have a look. Beautiful nature, rocks, drained lake. Probably they were harvesting the fish. Colors changing. What's here not to like? But that wouldn't be enough. Let's have a look at something else. That's actually why I came here today. We will just walk and look up. And this is a magnificent old wall leading up, up, up and a beautiful tower. Let's see what we can find out. This castle is about 700 years old and it's the best preserved Gothic castle in Central Europe or in Czech Republic at least. And the reason for that is that it hasn't been inhabited by the owners for the past 300 years. Why? Well, look at the walls. They are 10 feet thick in some places, maybe even more. And uh, about 300 years ago, the owners of castles like this one started building contemporary castles because you couldn't heat this beast and of course other amenities uh, were missing in the castle so it was cheaper to build something new of course people still lived here but not the owners and the people who lived here were uh, bureaucracy you had to manage the estate because a lot of land uh, lakes forests land uh, belong to the owners and uh, bureaucracy had to live somewhere, so they lived in other parts of the castle, not in the oldest part. One thing that I wanted to point out is those holes that you see. Now, let's go inside, but I will not be able to show you much. And there are two reasons for it. One is that in 1948, when the communists took over the Czech Republic, they nationalized all the property except the small property, probably a house where you live and a little garden, but everything else belonged to the state, as communists were fond of saying belong to the people. So whatever is inside is uh, unrelated to the castle itself. Everything was looted, sold off and disappeared. So that's the main reason. There are still very nice pieces of art and antiques that everyone would love to own, but not uh, related to the castle. And we just passed the black kitchen. If you are into cooking, let your imagination run wild. And there are some other things that we can see, but as I said, not really much. Recognize it. The building blocks are from sandstone and they are hundreds of pounds or kilograms heavy and each of them has a hole drilled into opposing sides so a special tool could be used by the builders to manipulate them. So that was basically the purpose of it. And now the second reason why I couldn't show you much of the inside of the castle. The guy uh, shielded himself with some European data protection law and didn't allow me to film inside basically. And that was it. I mean, I was surprised because I wouldn't have him in my video. It would be just his voice in the background. But, well, I didn't want to be hauled in Hague in front of the International Court of Justice for violation of the law. This walkway made from wood was constructed for the visitors. It was not part of the original castle defenses. I have a question for you. When you were a child, have you played with a sling, shooting at birds, maybe occasionally shooting out uh, windows in neighbor's house? Well, I will show you a giant sling which is called catapult and it was used to bridge the walls of castles in the old times. Basically it's the same principle as a sling but it looks a little bit different. You see it's quite mobile or a little bit mobile. On the right side there were a 
some heavy stone or stones and the arm that reaches up high contained a ball from stones and they try to shoot it at the walls. The valley where I am walking right now is called Plakanek. It was named after the Plakanek family who in the 17th century manufactured wood coal at this place. The valley is about two, three miles long and at the end is a village in which there is a well-preserved water mill. Maybe I will go there next time. The sandstone from the valley was used for the construction of the castle and a church in a nearby town. And since the place looks like a movie set, it was actually used in many, many movies most of them Czech movies that you probably never heard of even though they I'm told are excellent some of them but maybe you heard about Hannibal Lecter in Hannibal Rising well maybe you saw the first movie with uh, Anthony Hopkins but the third movie was shot here and it was a bomb in the box office so maybe you've never heard that but another movie you may have Scene. It's called The Brothers Grimm with Matt Damon and Heath Ledger. And an interesting fact about this movie is that the producers were Bob and Harvey Weinstein, the infamous uh, producers or producer Harvey who is now in jail for sexual crimes. If you heard about the Me Too movement, you know what I am talking about. The women or about 80 women accuse them of sexual crimes. Well, I will stop rambling now and we will go back to the castle. And why was the castle never defeated? The answer is very simple. If you cannot see it, you cannot fight it. The castle sits in a valley and unless you come very, very close, like within a half mile, you don't know it exists. Of course, in the past there were no maps, no GPS, so that was it safety feature par excellence. Last but not least, I need to tell you the name of the castle. It is called Kost in Czech language and Bone in English. The reason for that is that supposedly it was so hard to defeat it that it was hard like a bone, they said. And there is a little story that goes like this. Centuries ago, an army was trying to defeat the castle which sits on a rock and the leader when they quit trying said the rock belongs to the devil and the bone belongs to dogs so this is it for today i hope you like the video and see you next time take care